Okay, guys, thanks for showing up after uh, the coffee break. Um, I promise it will be interesting discussion, and uh, I'll make sure these guys uh, speak shorter than the guys during the previous discussion, because I believe none of them is uh, politician, right? <laughs> Uh, and also, um, I believe we'll have some time for questions, so get ready with your questions, and, uh, we'll have time for that. Uh, before we start with, uh, the discussion, I will let um, uh, our panelists to uh, say a little bit of word, a couple of words about them, what they're doing, what they're passionate about. So listen carefully and choose who you uh, ask what. Starting with Dilian. Yeah, well, I was here just 10 minutes ago, so uh, I'm Dylan, Dylan of B11, one of the founders of that accelerator program which is in Bulgaria, and I'm passionate about funding startups. Cool. Thomas? Uh, okay, I'm Tomasz. Uh, came from Slovenia, and uh, we are here. Okay, sorry. Do you hear me? Uh, we are uh, actually, I'm leading a uh, Slovenian startup school, uh, in the last phase of the school, it's also a bound breaker, which is acceleration program, which leads you through the whole uh, information what you need to do when you uh, want to raise uh, money from investors. And in the last part of this program, you also go to the Silicon Valley. And uh, right now, we have in Silicon Valley a uh, rented flat. Uh, it's about 300 square meters. And about, I think right now, five startups are already there. And uh, if you want to join us, and, or you are just like to go to Silicon Valley, uh, contact me, ping me. Cool. Yes. Uh, hi, my name is Sasha. I come from Zagreb. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur and business angel investor. I started the company like 23 years ago, first of them, and it's still on the market. Basically, I have a few companies of my own. I invested like 10 startups already, so they said that I'm the most active angel investor in Croatia. Uh, I'm a member of Crane, this is the organization of Business Engine in Croatia, and recently we founded the first real incubation and co-working space in Zari called Zip. The idea of Zip is to have the interesting teams there, so we started with eight of them and hoping that we will see very soon the first result. The concept is relatively distinct from the other I have seen because the teams get everything for free, mentorship, space, all other services and we are hoping that the next step will be acceleration program, so we'll speak maybe a little bit more about it later. Thanks. I'm George Bulgaris, I'm the director of uh, Colab Igniter. Colab Igniter is a new accelerator program in uh, Athens, Greece. And uh, it's so new that it hasn't been even officially announced yet, so this is going to happen within the next uh, uh, month, month and a half, so we hope. Um, which is going to be for the first of its kind uh, for, for Greece and Athens. Uh, I'm also a business partner. Uh, with Vision Mobile. Vision Mobile is a UK-based analyst house uh, in the mobile uh, telecoms industry. And um, I'm also uh, a partner in a couple of startups in the, um, uh, in the sector of, uh, well, internet marketing, I would say, it's the closest. Hello, I'm Todor. I'm one of the managing partners of the launch capital of the acceleration fund in Bulgaria. Our fund is uh, 9 million. We already have uh, 14 companies out in our portfolio. And our next uh, uh, window for participation is opening in December. So whoever is interested to get funded, you can contact. Uh, great, looks like we have a uh, very interesting panelist and I want to uh, open up the discussion. Uh, obviously, the theme of the discussion is how to accelerate and it starts with how to, which uh, makes me think that there is uh, like uh, something that's very specific for the region. It might not be just the music, the food, the temper of the people over here, uh, also different culture and mindset. Uh, usually when I speak 
frequent entrepreneurs, uh, there are two main uh, problems that we, I see and other people uh, in, indicate as well. The first problem is um, uh, fear that somebody will steal their ideas. This is very common. We haven't overcome that. And the second one is fear of failure. So how can we uh, fight uh, these two basic problems and still accelerate? Like uh, go forward, uh, do better, do faster in a slower uh, moving uh, part of Europe as uh, the Balkans? Who wanna? I can be the ice breaker to the problem. <laughs> I think there is one more thing because uh, all countries are having the same problem also which is lack of entrepreneurial culture. So basically I think everything starts with this understanding of the entrepreneurship as the subject. So people would rather be like football player, people would rather be like singer and to be entrepreneur is still be perceived as a negative thing. Especially in Croatia but I think in the region is almost the same. And because of it I think all other things arise. Of course failure of Failure is something that we should fight against, but usually when I'm investing and probably other people also, we do ask how many failures do you have in startup thing or something like before. So if it is two or three, then I figure it out, but probably he learns something out of it. If not... The problem is we don't have lots of uh, serial entrepreneurs, so not a lot of failures, not a lot of uh, negative examples. Probably we have a couple of uh, positive, but not so much negative. What do you think about it? I don't have any, anything against that somebody had failures in the past. Actually, my most ex, my most successful investment, the guys had two two failures before, so they learned something out of it. So I don't have anything against it. Uh, okay, I think that uh, main problem is not the fear or the lack of entrepreneurship spirit, but actually the state of mind. If you, if you bridge this state of mind, it's the next phase then it's a lack of knowledge. If you bridge this stage, it's a lack of capital. And uh, I think that <laughs> entrepreneurs are uh, looking on this whole picture as, as one, but I think in first place is a state of mind. If uh, this state of mind can be bridged with, we saw that we bridge with Silicon Valley, on one side, on the other side, on one side, on other side, it's also a community. A community is that the thing that bridges the, the fear of failure because if, the, if there is a community, the community will solve this. If someone fails, then the other one says, hey, no problem, you can join us, let's go ahead, let's go one more time, or do it one more time, we'll help it. Exactly, and uh, do you believe that um, the acceleration uh, concept can uh, help us overcome all these problems? Here locally on the Balkans, because what what I see is like in most of the countries that we represent, there are more um, more incubators, let's say, than accelerators. Like there are more physical places where people just can do whatever they uh, like, but people were not taught how to do business. Like uh, during the previous uh, conversation, uh, lots of people stated there is a great potential, like. Uh, great engineers in the region, but what I see is that uh, most of the guys that have business understanding, they, 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 lack, they lack skills like presenting skills. <coughs> uh, and what do, you, what do you think, what's uh, an acceleration problem can bring uh, like a solution to these problems? Can I try? Because I'm kind of running an accelerator program right now. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Well, uh, listen, the thing is, uh, incubators have their uh, role in that, and I think what you're doing with ZIP is uh, just great, because it provides mentorship, it provides community. What accelerators do is provide some funding on top of everything else, so actually make people be able to spend full time on their projects rather than bootstrap and need a day job, and then have a, you know, their bad project working on it. So, so I think... <coughs> What accelerators will do for the region will give the people the courage to quit their jobs and to actually go full steam ahead with their project because what we are lacking is momentum. So people are doing something, it takes them years to develop it, and it ends up, you know, Facebook are doing the same thing six, six months down the road or a year down the road, and it just fails. So what accelerators will generally do is exactly what it says in the name, accelerate the company, so make them do that same thing but faster. And this requires money, right? <laughs> 
uh, maybe I should join also. Um, so I do believe that people in the region are not that different from people in the United States or London or whatever. The fact that uh, there are so many Serbians, Bulgarians, Croatians, Macedonians that are living there successfully actually proves that. And uh, the only thing that is uh, still lacking uh, here in the region is uh, the full ecosystem for this acceleration process to happen. Uh, what we see from our perspective is that uh, in the last years uh, things uh, start uh, to, to happen and to change. Um, there are more and more acceleration programs, uh, there are more and more involvement of uh, the local governments and uh, institutions. Uh, uh, there are more and more Understanding that uh, the educational system is quite important in, in this process, and uh, when all those things uh, start uh, working uh, together in uh, one direction, uh, I believe that uh, things are going to happen faster also here. Yeah, I, I agree with the ecosystem part, but if this ecosystem is not connected with the with the right values, it's we are doing the circles in, in and uh, we found out that uh, if this ecosystem or this ecosystem can be just a small a, a group of teams, if it's not connected with the right values and we find the right values in Silicon Valley, uh, it's really hard because it's too much uh, influence from the other old companies, repeat companies and uh, when the when we bring the uh, companies to Silicon Valley and they, when they get back, it's about two months time that are excited that they can really achieve everything and they can rule the world. And uh, what we want is to keep them in, in, in let's say, controlled environment and spread this state of mind, this, this experience, this passion uh, through our end. We believe that in, in one phase this will uh, reach the critical mass and spread out. I mean, things are pretty basic and simple as always. In order to drive a car, you need to have a proper road. I mean, you can technically drive a car over the meadow or somewhere, but usually it's much easier to drive it on the highway. So and the thing is, I mean, infrastructure is basic. So building infrastructures, uh, the thing is how we plan it, and uh, are we going to build small roads or are we going to, uh, to build big as in America? Because uh, once it's built, it's difficult to repair and to extend it. What do you think about it? But basically, basically we started a few years ago with no infrastructure, so we have to build some. And now we are basically building the road. The problem is that we are building it as entrepreneurs, and there is not enough support from the government and from the municipality. Probably the same situation is all over the region. Of course, they started to understand it, but the difference between understanding and acting and doing something is on the Balkan. It's a pretty long way. So, to cut the story short, uh, as Damien Clore said when we did Geeks on the Plane, 500 Startups Conference in Zagreb, he said that we need more people writing chats. This is one of the problems. Of course, we did it more with F words as his style and stuff like this. Yeah. But basically, that was the point. Do you believe that uh, the acceleration programs that are available here on the Balkans are bringing enough value uh, for companies to stay here and you know, do some other jobs like on the or even Silicon Valley? So, that, that's. But the uh, short answer would be yes, the value that is provided is um, a lot if you want. Now, the question of whether this is enough to keep them in the area is, is a different thing. And um, it, it has to do a little bit with uh, what you touched earlier on by saying that look, there aren't many success stories around at the moment. So, uh, if I want to go one, one step further, so what, what is, it, what is it the, the, the condition of IPOs in, in Europe? Not just in this area, but in Europe, right? So the, there is, there is a, a discontinuity, let's say, in, in, the, in, in the path of, of a small company that starts and wants to grow and become something big. So from one perspective, this is normal because the, the ecosystem uh, here in Europe is, is, is young, it's 
being constructed. So you see many good efforts, but at, at very early stages. So I, mean, I, I would even include in those efforts things like uh, startup competitions. So you go there, you win one competition, two, three, what next? What, 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 what comes after that? Um, so, I mean, it, it's, as, as, I, as I said, yes, there is value for that stage, but I, I feel that the same lack of maturity uh, education, if you want, awareness, which is something quite important that we haven't touched on, um, doesn't exist only on the startup side, it also exists on the investor side, if you want, for, 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 for follow-up stages. And just a, a, a quick small comment, I want to say on uh, what um, uh, Dillian said earlier, my opinion is that the main difference uh, with accelerators is not the fact that the startups get money, it's the commitment that this, this, this money and this bond between the investors and the, the, the startups is created. <coughs> Okay, thank you very much for that. Uh, we spend a little bit of time uh, focusing on what are like the problems of the ecosystem, but let's see if there are some advantages as well. Because I believe there are some advantages. And uh, what do you think? Are there any adva advantages for uh, local startups to stay over here and accelerate and uh, learn the ways and the problem after they move to some other hubs? So what do you what do you think about this? Advantages, positive stuff. In my opinion, uh, sorry. Okay. In my opinion, here the life is better. <laughs> better uh, groups. Yes, and uh, the, the weather is much better for sure. Groups, the groups. It's there, there the, the, a lot of people that uh, prefer to stay uh, where, they, where they are born, actually, which is quite important. And uh, of course, the burn rate of the money is much lower. Time being, maybe those are the, the main advantages. The question is how to change all the other aspects of the in order to bring a lot of people that are already spending their time uh, in the United States or London or Germany and uh, that are actually willing to come back because there are a lot of our friends and there are relatives that are there and they, they constantly want to come back and the only thing that is missing are the opportunities and the, the setup. And if I can add something, it's also, uh, I think that the first, first set of knowledge can learn here at home, it uh, cannot be uh, must, a must to, to, have, uh, to go on the market uh, or the US or Germany or whatever and spend some time there, so you can uh, learn a few things at home and then you go prepare on the market. Yeah, go ahead. So I'll be a bit blunt and say that actually there's no advantage that in, uh, in a region where it's uh, still mature and not um, saturated, it's easier to become a king. So for a new startup, that would be a good incentive to stick around and not go somewhere where a different area where it's saturated and it's far more difficult to stand out. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, I just came back from the Silicon Valley and have a, a nice experience of the ecosystem over there and also got a privilege to meet with a, like a four-star um, VC. And what he said is, uh, like his advice to European startups was exactly like that. <laughs> Uh, he said, move to the Silicon Valley, just the core team. If you're moving uh, developers, bring people that don't speak English. If they do speak English, lock them in a, in a house and do party in the backyard, just barbecue. Because uh, the minute you open um, the door, they will go to Google or some, some other companies. Uh, his other advice was, uh, join Accelerator. It's not... Uh, uh, probably the knowledge that you get, but the contacts. So do you believe that uh, like being in the region, being accelerated in the region uh, gives uh, enough exposure uh, to the companies that have been uh, accelerated and gives them enough access to services, enough, enough access to clients, enough access to uh, other partners, and how we can uh, 
work on that to uh, to kind of better position ourselves and probably open up a little bit, uh, either uh, by bringing teams over uh, to uh, significant hubs like, uh, let's say, Tel Aviv or uh, the Silicon Valley itself or London, or bringing in people, like, uh, for example, what uh, startup Chibi is doing. So what's your take on that? And after that, we'll move to uh, the audience. If you have a question, raise your hand after the answer, and I'll give you the, the mic. Basically, I have recently also come from London, from Tech City, and it's same same situation is there as it is in Silicon Valley. Most of the things, great things, have been done by immigration people. So it's not that English people or US-based people did it. Most of the things did people which come basically from these kind of countries, from Russia, from Israel, from Balkan. So only thing what what we what we do wrong is that we are not providing them pretty good infrastructure to stay home and, and now we never have a situation that we will be able to work there and live here. If then we will teleport, I will probably invest in it because it would allow them to do it. But here we have the situation because of the internet, because of the ICT. Yeah, so but internet is good. Good. I mean, if you want to uh, get in contact with a, uh, a mean, big contact, company, you can do it all. I mean, contact, contact can be done, but not by personal contact these days. I mean, it's much easier to do it. Introductions. How do we do introductions like to lead person in a certain company? Uh, being yeah, based here in the beginning, there are two ways to do that. Ship teams, either London, Berlin, or Silicon Valley, or bring people in from there. And uh, definitely what we are planning to do at 11, we have partnerships in London mm -hmm. and Silicon Valley. Uh, maybe we're in, we don't have a flat to <laughs> people in, but uh, we have uh, you know people there to introduce us. But the other thing is, the region is getting more and more attention. I mean, there are geeks on a plane, uh, and the Dave McClure's of the world were here this summer in, in, in Zagreb. And uh, there are more and more events like this one, which are attracting attention from Silicon Valley to, to Europe and to Central and Eastern Europe. So I think it works both ways. Also, I mean, I, I just read this morning on the way here, the statistic says 52% of the startups in the Silicon Valley are from immigrants. Yes. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah, well, at some point of time, people want to be successful, want to go abroad, yeah. but uh, more and more people are focusing here and actually paying attention to the startups in that part of the world, being accelerated, and then take them with a you know proven market validated you know business case to the stage. Yeah, George. But, but uh, word of warning here. I mean, it's uh, with, 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 a, with a grain of salt, I must say, but. The interest in the area from, from the investors is uh, basically because they're looking for cheaper investors. The investment is right yeah, yeah, because they think that everything that they get here is going to be they can get the same quality, for example, as, as, the, as the, what they get in Silicon Valley, but at the lower cost. Now, is that like a very risky? Sorry? Because sometimes it will be like just uh, uh, like um, talent hire than uh, real company acquisition. I have to disagree because, for example, they make more invested in the company from Croatia and they give the same accelerator terms to the company like in the US. They brought them to US. So it's not the cheaper cost, basically. They are really looking because here we have some diamonds which are under the dirt. So you have to dig a little bit. Most of them said that Southeast Europe is the gold mine today. Like you have to know what to search for and how to find it. This is why they are coming here to pick up the money from the investment. They don't care basically so much about it. Of course, it's nice to have the developer for the cheaper price. Yeah. But as I heard in Bulgaria already, it's already a little bit expensive. So yeah. it's not, of course, like in Silicon Valley. Yeah, they need a proof. And when one exit will happen, I think that that will change everything. Yeah. Cool. I really well, like the energy over here. But I really want to get uh, the, the audience involved. So I will open up for questions. And you can go on. Uh, hello, my name is Dragan Varegic and I'm here as the representative of uh, something which is similar to that Greek, uh, Greek uh, Greece example. Uh, there will be on, from the 1st of December here in Serbia a creative bond accelerator. It is the thing which is in the relation of the Serbian uh, companies and ra some Russian companies, the private companies. Although uh, we are, we, we think that we will get the also support from the government of Serbia and also if the government of Serbia gives some funding related to this uh, particular project then uh, we will get uh, also <coughs> the funding from Skolkovo, you know what is Skolkovo in yeah. Russia and uh, also the Russian government will be 
supporting uh, this kind of project as well. We are here to also see the opportunities for other funds from uh, other parts of the world as well, from the US and uh, Silicon Valley. I just wanted to inform you, uh, uh, I just wanted to inform you this, and I can, uh, I just wanted to say that the situation here also in Serbia will be much better related to acceleration program because we think that it is very good. This is exciting. Congratulations. Yeah. Try to keep the government out of it as yes. much as you can. Keep it out. It is private. It is private. Made the same mistake. Keep the government yes. out of it. Yes, yes. Uh, it is private. We held uh, uh, this private. We held the story. Any other questions? Please have real questions. If we have very important people over here, brought from all over the world, actually. Okay, now I will do in English. It might be in English. Okay, uh, question is uh, uh, problems, fail ups, and uh, what to do next? Uh, is there any possibility that people do its own business? If I'm a developer, okay, I will be uh, working in the developing field. Uh, is there any possibility that uh, some fund, some uh, company, simply do rest of the process? Uh, advertise, uh, uh, sell, sell my uh, my work. Uh, simply, everybody can do uh, not all job, but uh, part of that. Is there any possibility to, to do that? Because people uh, here are talking about uh, failing and uh, what to do about first, second, etc. Et okay, et we gotta cetera. let them answer then. Okay, thank okay. you. Somebody to the answer is yes. Theoretically. Practically, you find a business co-founder. <laughs> yeah, practically, you don't want to do that because if you fail, then it's your you know, partner that failed you and not yourself. So, if you're a developer, you build a great product, you find yourself a business co-founder and then make him sell it for you. I mean, the other way around, you build an awesome product, or at least you believe it's awesome. The market doesn't take it, but then it's not your fault, it's somebody else. But problem is is in knowledge because if I don't don't have that knowledge, I will be in a very uh, find somebody who has the knowledge, yeah. take him into your team because we are going to invest in team. If you are yeah, a developer, I will never invest in your own because I have to do your work. Okay. If you if you rely totally on subcontractors, no, actually you are making them partners for business time. So it's better to have a partner in terms of people that you like. It. They usually say that uh, like uh, investors invest in most in the team, no, rather than the idea. So yeah, yeah. Well, that to the next our our philosophy is when we look at the company, at the project, uh, we to level. We look at the team, and I'm sure the guys at Launch have the same thing because we kind of you know work together. Uh, you want to make sure that there is enough talent in that founders team, so people owning the stake in the company have enough talent to bring it to the next level. So you want to see a developer, if it's you know design related, you want to see a designer, definitely want to see a business person. Because otherwise it's not going to leave them. Ultimately this is why we are talking about culture, uh, ah, yes. about spirit, because people do not uh, about something else. Understanding. And then you come to the failure, because if you are good, the team is good. If you do the failure, you are still going to protect my investment if you are a good team. Because most of the ideas would fail, so I don't care so much about the business plan, and I don't even care about the idea if it is not like really some big technical stuff like hardware. So usually you never end up with the same project you started with. So there's something else. So this is why team is important. So find somebody in your team, do it together, and then try to see. How you give? Thank you very much. Next question. We'll be moving to the next question. <laughs> um, first of all, I want to congratulate you on the new great the region, and I think this is the first step. That Sure. My question is around what are the strong areas for the region? Because I'm thinking of the investment you mentioned, uh, Dave Mokor investment is farmer owned probably, which is coming from Croatia in a very agricultural sector. So I'm thinking, is that something strong for the region? There are the guys from Red Blue here who are doing something around yachts, and I'm pretty sure that uh, Silicon Valley are not that good in that. So I know that uh, this region is very strong technically, so this is always something we'll be strong with. But what are the other areas that you think that something coming from this region can be particularly competitive abroad because we have the know-how locally to scale afterwards. So which are the areas are wrong? In our uh, experience, uh, that's a big potential in universities and institutes 
because it's uh, mostly these institutes and universities are public funded and it's a lot of research in the labs and that's the biggest potential. If we are talking about the areas, that's, I don't know, IE, artificial intelligence in computer science, uh, I don't know, computer vision maybe, uh, nanotechnology, biotechnology, uh, something like that. And as, I, as we see, uh, there are potential really in this part of Europe, we have a great potential in developers. It's a lot of people that want to develop, but this business side is weak. So uh, if, you are the, if you are a developer, visit and network and find out the business model. We have five more minutes, so uh, probably two more questions. Any questions? Really? I thought it was quite interesting. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I just want to ask a general question. Um, what is the best way of a company uh, to approach to you? What's the, if uh, there is an idea, and if there is no idea, but with a good team, uh, what's the best approach to you? Give us the coffee. <laughs> We have uh, actually first grade, besides Bound Breaker, we have a start program when uh, we gather together, we bring together people with ideas, without ideas, we meet them together and actually help them uh, to found the problem, the product, and uh, uh, to actually to start a company. So. I will tell you how not to do it, do not send me an email with the business plan. That's the first <laughs> yeah, that's the Maybe you should understand that we are, all of us are in actually service business. So, uh, teams and ideas, uh, actually you are our clients. So all type of communication is totally acceptable. Yeah, well, the easiest way to approach us is show us something impressive. Like, if you send an email or an application, show us how great a team you are, what have you done, if you have failed, if you have succeeded, it doesn't matter, as, as long as you show us some awesomeness and then give us why a reason to invest in it. I mean, th that's what we do, we have money, we are here to invest. We are not here not to invest. So, you know, give us a, a chance to. And one comment on the, a good team with no idea, this is impossible. Great, and also more Okay, one more question, and I'll ask uh, for wrap up uh, for all of the participants. Any other question? Okay, um, yeah. Just last comment on the last question. So, um, why do you need the money for? Um, so, that would be a, a really good question that I have to answer. If you're approaching someone for money, and uh, follow up comment on that would be in most cases, money is not the problem for an estate yeah, which was. It's about commitment, so if you don't have any money for living, then it doesn't work out. That That's why accelerators are. Yeah. And uh, it's not about the money that I'm uh, trying to ask it. Because the money is not a problem. Uh, but uh, connecting with the right people to make the product good. Uh, because uh, uh, not every people know everything. And not every person knows the right people. So it's not a problem with the money, it's not a problem with the team. There are, there, are, there are ideas, but um, when moving forward, it's good to be connected with people who know uh, the next step. And search, search for smart money, money plus expertise if you can get it. Only money can help you. If you get only money, it will just help you to burn money faster and you will get nowhere. So search for somebody who can give you expertise, contacts, and if, if he gives you some money plus, money is always nice. Thank you. Great, and one uh, last question. I want to ask each of you to uh, uh, say uh, one problem and one advantage of accelerating in the region. So if you think of something, uh, each one of you, starting with the land problem. Yeah, well, we spoke about it earlier. Uh, people still don't have that entrepreneurial bug impacted them. So they still believe entrepreneurship also includes 20 days of paid leave per year. So this is something that needs to change. 
uh, an advantage of the region is much cheaper to fail here than any place else. It costs you, you know, less than 100 euros to start a company and fail, and it costs you much more doing it someplace else. So fail here rather than any place else. Okay, one problem is it's probably this spirit that everything is possible and we want to solve this with connection with Silicon Valley. Uh, and what positive thing is this network, this community that uh, came with, uh, with the program, with the uh, acceleration, and that's definitely positive. I mean, what we need is the, the real group of stupid, crazy people with enough money and enough time to go into it and to make it happen. And then you will have all the buzz around it, then you will have the PR about it, then people will start understanding what it is all about, then the institution will start understanding what it is all about. As I mentioned, the tax city didn't, in London, didn't come by itself only, it was also supported. So in the beginning, you always need to do some support. Of course, try to focus not to have too much support from the government because there is always strings attached. So if you can do it with somehow to, to smuggle through all it, somehow it's good. But at the end of the day, you need understand that these kind of things like startups are maybe in my opinion only things that can start. In Croatia we cannot do another shipyards, we cannot do another agriculture and the government is spending a lot of money in this. So, so I think you know, all the most important points we've made already so I would just say that maybe one problem that I still see is that people focus too much on the money and not on the, on the important stuff if you want. And uh, maybe one big advantage that I see in the area is um, there is a lot of excitement because it's a new, it's a new ecosystem, uh, and uh, this this can play a very, very good role in pushing things uh, uh, harder and further than what you get in any more uh, more mature regions. I will try to be more specific. One of the problems that we are facing is that uh, here in the region. Uh, people are not that uh, uh, focused and uh, committed to what they do or what they believe in. Uh, maybe it's a comparison to go to the States, uh, you are going to work 100% of your time. What happens here is that you believe that if you are working 30% of your time on your startup, you believe this is enough, it is not enough. Uh, the advantage of the region for at least for me personally and most probably for people here is that uh, it is a still gold mine and we are the, the first uh, on the market <laughs> and uh, this is not the, uh, if, uh, things can happen here but uh, uh, part of it is our companies like ours but the other part is the commitment to the fact that focus on the effort. Thank you very much, guys, and thanks for the, uh, to the audience for uh, having us over here. And actually, what I want to say in close the session is that I really believe that the people, our panelists over here, are probably the most important uh, people over here at this forum. So please do spend some time to get to know them, ask them questions, uh, not uh, be really so much interested about political stuff and politics. But these are people with money and people with knowledge, so do connect. You ask for introductions. Um, um, this is the most important thing, I believe, of a, like an outcome of an event like that. So thank you very much for having us.